Hey y'all, Daniel Aaron here, your guide to vibrant living. Back in the city with another Facebook Live mini for you. And indeed, it is a rockin' full moon coming up right now. Um, part of that is, I'll keep it short because this is not an astro update, this one. But Mars and Saturn are right together in the sky and that's the energy of drive, go forward, do it, Mars. And Saturn saying, slow down, do it right, structure, Maybe we gotta work this out. Um, Saturn's often known for being troubling or holding things back. So the two of them together can often yield um, or symbolize a sense in us of frustration of like, I gotta go, but uh, it's not working and there's something in the way. And then that, those two are both square to the sun right now and the sun being opposite the moon, making it the full moon. So it's a power pack sort of like, there's a lot of potential energy and uh, for a lot of us a desire to action it forward and yet at the same time um, perhaps obstacles, lessons, learnings, which bring, brings me back to a follow-up from my uh, the, the Facebook Live I did yesterday with my daughter Zeta who told you about some of the questions that we use every night. and. I still, after many years in the industry, am not a fan of the word coach exactly, life coach. Um, I've been known a lot of my life as a yoga teacher and I founded a yoga center and I've led yoga trainings and I've trained thousands and thousands of people in yoga and mostly people think of that as the physical movement. And I love that, I use it m myself all the time, every day, it's an essential part. The uh, pyramid of vibrancy requires a physical vitality at the beginning of it. Thing is, we've got a lot of people in the world right now with a basic level of physical vitality, health, energy, um, who are not getting up to the top of the tower because that next layer is emotions, beliefs, our thought forms, the meaning we create, the stories we tell ourselves, and most of my work now focuses in that area. I say work, but really it's just a joy and an honor to be able to help people with that. And why I call it a vibrant life coaching practice, um, and why I do resonate in a way with life coaches, because to go above that means that we have to sort out and understand how we work here and here. and. There's not so much great attention paid to that in the yoga world these days. So I know there are a lot of people you can go to who will help you develop your asana practice, who will help you learn how to adjust people, and that's great. And I, and I love doing that too, and I'm available for that. Though the real thing is to go above and say, what's, what's happening in here in my relationships, in my thoughts, the limiting ones, the empowering ones, the beliefs, the stories? and without going further into that now, Facebook Live Mini, one of the key ways, and one of the key ways that I am blessed to be able to help people in coaching, whether it's in group or one-on-one, -on -one, is really what I do is I ask questions. Not just questions, I ask um, effective questions. And the ones Zeta gave yesterday, end of the night ones, um, what's something that I learned today? What's something that I contributed today? What are three things for which I'm grateful? And as you can see already, they presuppose certain things. They assume, yeah, I did contribute because that's the kind of person I am. I contribute, I make things better. And they presuppose I learned something today because yes, I am somebody who learns things. Other great questions are, how can I do this and have this? One of the biggest challenges people have these days is they, there's something that they want and yet it feels like if they have that, they can't have this, or if this comes about, it'll get in the way of that. And so one of my favorite questions is, how can these two work together? How can I have this and create this in a harmonious way? Or what would be an easy, effective way to have this in this? Or when we're facing a problem to say, well, what can I learn from this? What's the gift from this? What are three ways that this thing getting in my way that I didn't want, that just came away from me, that stripped from me, what are three ways that that might even be better for me? You know, and the great thing about questions is you're not committing to anything. All you're doing is using the, this incredible tool that we have up here and here and in our belly and by prompting it with a certain precursor, by, by prompting it with the question, it gets all of this working on our behalf. 
and um, other great questions. What am I really here for? How can I help? What's my purpose? What do I desire most? How can I take care of the people around me better? How can I love better? What can I learn from this? How can I utilize this situation in order to help people more? And part of the reason I'm giving you all these questions today, and I encourage you to find more, create your own, is because this full moon right now is, is one where we are likely to have obstacles, things that don't seem to be working. And if you can utilize those obstacles and say, well, why? You know, what's the purpose? What's the benefit? I love the thing Napoleon Hill said, every detriment contains within it the seeds of, a, of an equal or greater um, benefit. So how can we take those things? How do we use these things? And right now on this full moon, y'all, with the energy that's there, if you get in obstacles, if things aren't working, I highly encourage you, don't force it, don't push it, don't fight about it. Take a step back, breathe, use your energy in a physical way. Use your, that must be our cue. All right, y'all, <laughs> thank you. Two more days to get the bonus, by the way, if you're interested in joining our Sangha and group coaching. Thanks a lot. See you soon.